Hi, this is David Zahn of Zahn Consulting, and I'd like to take just a fast moment of your time to talk about an issue our industry currently confronts. This is the second part of a three-part series on training and employee engagement. In the first video, I spoke about what to do prior to the training event. In this video, we'll talk about what happens once trainees are in attendance at that training event, whether it be a classroom face-to-face, -face, online, or other. The first thing to be concerned about is establishing why the need for the training at all. Is it due to new regulations or laws that the company must comply with? Is it due to internal changes in processes? The introduction of a new tool or resource to accomplish the job or perhaps simply there are bottlenecks, problems, or issues with the way performance is currently done and a, an enhancement in skill would help overcome that challenge. So establish the why of the training so that your trainees can root themselves in what they can expect to receive as a result of the training. Very much related to that, then establish objectives. The second thing to do is to ensure that people know what they will get as a result of participating in the training. So after they've heard the why, now give them the what they will be able to do as a result of participation in the training. The third thing to be aware of is that you want to focus on facilitating as opposed to lecturing. People who are not proficient at training will often think the event is designed to give them an opportunity to share all that they know, all their experiences, all their wisdom about something of their content expertise. The reality is the training event will be much more successful if you can ask questions, gain participation, provide exercises for the participants to master to prove that they have in fact learned what they need to learn. Which brings us to our fourth point, and that is it's far more important what your trainees can do as opposed to demonstrating what you know or what you have done. Keep the training focused on them and not on yourself and your training will be much more highly engaging and be much more, success much more successful. I have a lot more to say about this topic and I invite you to give me a call. Thanks.